Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can customize your weapon inside the first person template. So let's go. Inside the first person template of Unreal Engine 5 you get this pickup rifle here that you can pick up and shoot CS with it. So let's take a closer look. As you can see we start up with the begin overlap, then we cast to the first person character, we check if everything is valid, then we add the weapon component to the skeleton mesh, so in this case the first person player, and then we destroy the actor, so the pickup rifle right here. Let's take a closer look on the weapon component. For this let's open up the rifle here, and here we have the blueprint weapon component. Let's open this up as well. Inside the weapon component we start up with the begin play event which is starting when we pick up the weapon. In this case we cast to the first person character, set a reference as well for the weapon, then we attach a component to the component, in this case the weapon to the hand, which the socket name is the grip point of the first person character. Then we check with the boolean if we has the rifle and at the end we activate the inputs. The most important part is down here where we have the shoot event, the input action here. This is on the left mouse button where we spawn a projectile. The projectile is calculated with the location of the socket, in this case the ammo socket. So you have to be sure that every weapon that you create have this socket name. As well we get the camera and the rotation of the camera so that we can calculate where the projectile is shooting off. Of course when we pull the trigger we have the sound effect and at the end we have the animation montage of the character itself. To customize this one we pull out the class here and promote it to a variable. In this case this will be our ammo as well we do this for the sound so promote to a variable. We can keep it as a sound here. Let's pull this out a little bit here, unplug this one, we go from here and say spawn emitter at location. Of course we connect the end back to the montage here and select an emitter. In this case the muzzle flash, of course link is in the description. Then we go from the get socket location of the return value here and connect it to the location of the emitter. As well we go from the camera rotation here and put it to the rotation of the emitter as well. I would recommend a scale of 0.3 as well for the other things here like this one. We can close this one here and let's customize a weapon. So we just copy and paste the pickup rifle, let's call this just for example pickup rifle 2 and open this up. Let's go to the viewport, so we want to customize this one. Open up the details, we select of course the weapon, then we go back. I already imported a custom weapon here as you can see, of course link is in the description. Let's take a closer look on this custom weapon, so we have the skeleton mesh, the physics asset and the skeleton itself. Let's open up the skeleton mesh. It's very important that you have the right rotation as you can see that it face the camera. This is the default rotation of the Unreal Engine itself. You can check if you have the right rotation when you go to the skeleton mesh of the first person character. You can see we have the grip point where we attach the weapon later. We go to the preview animation and when we hit the rifle idle you can see how he holds the weapon. We go right click on the grip point, add preview asset and we select our rifle. As you can see it fits pretty good. So you have to be sure that the rifle has the right rotation. Also very important when you open up the skeleton that you have add up the ammo socket so that the projectile has the right location. So select the skeleton mesh in this case and put it right here like this one. Then we go to the event graph where we have the add blueprint weapon component. Select this as well and put the skeleton mesh asset right here. As you can see we can now customize the ammo and the sound because we put this to a variable. So let's go back to the folder here. I already created these gun sounds here. So we select this one and put it to the sound here. 
Let's customize the ammo as well. So we open up to the browser here where we have our projectile, so the sphere here. As well, we just copy and paste this one, open this up. Again, we go to the viewport, go to the details, select the sphere here, and we need another static mesh as a projectile. I already prepared an ammo for this as well. This is just a static mesh as a bullet here, as you can see. So let's put this right here, make it a little bit bigger. Great. Also, we can adjust the speed of the bullet. So let's put this to a thousand, for example. You can play around with this value here. We go to the location here, select it, go back to our pickup rifle 2, where we can put our custom ammo right here. Let's go to back to our rifle, put it inside the world and hit play. We can pick up this rifle here. As you can see, we can shoot around. We have the muscle effect. We have our custom bullet here. Great. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.